Ooh. What are you, YouTube? See, boy, bossing. I'm back with another video. Let's say we won't be doing my for you pages jumping. We're gonna be doing my shorts is jumping. <clears throat> Whoa, that lucky sound. Wow. <clears throat> anyway, we got YouTube shorts compilation. I ain't do one of these in a while, but uh, YouTube shorts is a little different because sometimes you get some like news, you'll get like conspiracy stories. Like it's it's kind of cool, but it's kind of weird at the same time. But nonetheless, we're gonna get straight to it. We got a compilation of what my shorts page looks like. Um, Hopefully, there's. I've seen some crazy stuff on shorts, so we're gonna have to. Hopefully, I don't have to edit nothing out this video, but we're gonna get straight to it. Enough of that, Talzy. If you wonder what I'm sipping on, I'm sipping on the high noon. I got it from my uh, job, and uh, apparently, niggas love high noon, so I wanted to test it out and try it. This shit is low key ass, but um, it's not that bad. Scale of one to one through time, we give it like a six. So if you want to try it, try it. But you gotta be of, of age. Don't don't drink if you're not of age. And anyway, we'll get straight to it. How are you getting into this week? And you always, you always, you always, you always have something interesting going on. You and me, a couple bottles of rose, public pool. I'm friends of the lifeguard. We can piss and shit. Man. <laughs> tonight, bro, that sounds amazing. Going to Jasmine's tonight. They got a new big mud pit, and I'm getting hungry. First person to fit 50 pounds of mud in their tummy wins. Hear me out. We skip Jasmine's tonight. We do okay. it tomorrow night. Go to my house. Go to my backyard. Get a hose, and we have our own mud pit. Pretend we're worms. Can I tell you something crazy? I get in the fetal position, you dig a 10 foot hole, you bury me down there, water me for 50 years to see how big I get. <laughs> I got an idea. You know the movie uh, uh, White Chicks? Mm -hmm. Where the black guys pretend to be white chicks? We do that with dead Chinese guys. <laughs> We grab a six foot long chain, two big balls on the end, and we just go around and we start throwing them at telephone poles. <laughs> Then we're free to loot. It's legal at that point because there's no computers to enforce the law. So what the hell are you getting into this? When Monday arrives and Lisa, who's known as extremely responsible, doesn't show up to work, her colleagues get worried and give her a phone call. She doesn't pick up, so they call the police to do a welfare check, and when they arrive at the home on Golden View Lane, they see the two Guy family cars parked outside in the driveway. They peek through the glass on the front door and see what appears to be groceries strewn across the hallway. On the other side of the house, the back door is missing the handle, and out through is coming a strong smell. A mixture of chemicals and perhaps something decaying. A deputy then retrieves the garage door opener from one of the cars, and as they make their way inside the home, what they see is appalling. The floors and walls are all splattered in red, and lying on the floor is a hand not connected to anyone. Before they can get any further, when Monday arrives and Lee Now those 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 uh stories you hear are so so crazy to think that, that someone actually like thought it through and you know what's crazy a lot of this is premeditated bro well it's not even crazy to believe but like when you really think about it think about how evil you got to be to premeditate a murder like and it, and niggas be stupid they, they'll literally write it down on their notes on their phone or on the like piece of paper and be like all right step one <laughs> like nigga, what you couldn't think of that shit in your head but that's not funny that's but i've seen this story before at least i think it's the same story because they you cut off the arms and I don't get why they cut off the arms and shit like that. I guess to make it lighter to carry away and bury it. I don't. I don't know. But nonetheless, she cut or the person that did it. I think it was her son, and he had cut the head off and put it in a boiling pot. Why he was boiling it, I don't know. I don't know what his plans were, but that's just evil. Like imagine, think, think about it. imagine getting the biggest pot in your house, right? You put some, you fill it up with water, and you put that bitch on hot, and then you like, all right, it's boiling. Let me put this head in there. Like you, you gotta be a, a sick nigga, and then not even, not any head, your mama head. Mm -mm. What's your last name? Sikim. Sikim. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have you go and step out the vehicle for me. She's gonna come and get me. Yeah. So you're about 57 minutes away from me. I was almost at the hospital. All right. Okay. Let's take this off. Um, just uh. Yeah, send me what the information you put in your in your GPS, because that way I, I didn't go. The same thing. I don't know the name of this place right we'll, here. We'll, we'll get it figured out. We'll text it to you. It's Prince Avenue. Avenue. It's All Prince right, Avenue. so Prince here, Avenue. here's what's going to happen, Sakim, okay? Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to place you in the custody today, okay? You're going to have to go down to jail. Oh, no. you got to get booked in. They're going to take your fingerprints and picture, and you'll get a bond. 
but because you're driving on a suspended license, you gotta go. Oh, I never did. Sir, I did not know. I have children, I have a sick uncle, and I run the household. I got you. No, I really we don't. We don't have a choice at this put, time. Please so we're put placing you under arrest. Go ahead and turn around. Put your hands behind your back, please. Please put your hands behind your back. All right, so boom, right? Background of the story. He murdered somebody in 1994, which I don't know how old he is, but he looks young. But he murdered somebody in 1994, and he's been under the radar all these years. He gets one traffic stop, and they run his license. They're like, wait a minute. So, you know, I don't get about that story. How do you run someone's license now? Like, you telling me since 1994, he hasn't run his license anywhere else that would cause a red flag or a ping of of a wanted person like i don't get that story really i gotta get more into deep more details on that i'm gonna get my clean up on you gonna be long y'all don't need that today all this stuff out of here come on my bitch up wait it's just 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 wait What's on your heart? What's on your heart, man? Hey, man, get out of my studio with that bullshit, I had to throw that trash away. What, nothing but trash? Get your ass out of here, man. It's a week. It's a week. I'm sick of the trash, so I know it had to be trash. We had to be trash. Just be trash. I'm gonna get my clean up on. Do you want your shit ship or not? Like, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it a bean. Sometimes you really gotta keep it a bean. Like, what are they gonna? They got a one, a one star rating on on Google. They don't give a fuck. Do you need them? They don't need you. If she does not get any money, I'm not helping her. You did not talk to me. You did not talk to me. You talked to another customer about me. You cannot do that. Hey, I promise you, bro. Unless you paying me a hundred k a year. I'm not, I'm not fighting your battles as a company, bro. I, I, and I, I'm, I'm standing ten toes on that, bro. If I'm working for UPS or USPS, and a nigga is trying to argue with me, I'm walking to the back, bro. I'm clocking out. I'm taking my fifteen. I'm, I'm at like I smoke. I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm taking my little fifteen smoke break. I'm not, I don't get paid to argue with you, nigga. I don't even want to argue with nobody else off the clock. I'm not gonna argue with you on the clock. Come on now. This Karen could have got, well, just walked away. Is she dancing? I'm your best friend is Selena. 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 You all right, miss? Yes, Mr. Arthur. He ain't going to do this all day. This will tell the tale. Is you all in? Come on. I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. I said it before and I'll say it again. What movie was that from? That audio. I, I want to say it's Spider-Man, but that don't sound like my Spider-Man. Yo! Zendaya! What are you doing? Tom Holland was a good man, bro. You know, if there was anybody that I would want you with, it's with him. You feel me? Other than me. You see what I'm saying? But, like, you gonna go ahead and, and, and get two random niggas and, and, and just get a train busted out on you? I don't care if it's a movie. You kiss both of them. I saw it. Why you did that? Man, what? Is she scared a nigga me? Get some... Like, if it was two niggas, I'd still be pissed, but I'd be like, all right, boom. But, like, Tom Holland was a good man. You, you left Tom Holland to go kiss two random niggas? I was laying down in my bed, and I hear crazy old Steve. You understand me? 
Don't disrespect nobody here. Huh? So the moment I heard, I knew it was dumb. Don't be stupid. I'm tired of you. The second time around. I was laying down in my bed. And you, you think that show really real, bro? 60 days in? Like, are there actually cameras in the in the prison cells like this? I couldn't be in prison, bro. One, I'm not sleeping with eight niggas in one room. That's for, that's for one. I couldn't do it. I'd be pissed. Two, imagine you, 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 you trying to go to sleep. All you hear is a nigga beating his shit. Cause you know they don't give a fuck. They gonna beat their shit whether you there or not. And I, 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 don't even, I don't even like when dogs lick themselves, bro. I would be so pissed if another grown man in the room be beating his shit, bro. I'd have to fight that nigga, bro. I'd have to. This man is about to meet his twin brother for the first time. You all right? Hi. My heart is racing. This is... You're never going to forget this moment. I... Separated at birth, he was adopted and raised as an only child until someone on Facebook tagged him in a photo of his twin brother. He made the long journey from Idaho to NYC to reunite with his brother. That's got to be fake because why wasn't he looking for him? They knew each other. They will never forget this moment. If it's not, I'm sorry, but that, that, that was a setup. My bad. My guard is my guard is be up on fake videos, bro. I'm sorry if I sound hip, like a uh, mad. Anyway, um, fun fact: there is a check checking your state if you're in the United States. Checking your state about the safe haven law. Safe haven law means that you can give away your child at birth if you do not want it, but you have a threshold in which you can do so. So, if, for example, in Florida, you have until the child is a week old to give your child up anonymously, legally. Think this is just a normal couple shopping. Think again. Oh, she has no good. I saw it. Terrified, this brave woman looks around and locks eyes with the stranger. But what she's about to do next is all thanks to a TikTok trend. Popularized on TikTok that alerts people. Hand signal could help to save a life. Fearing for her life, she tries three times. She oh, just did which the one? Which one? With the black jacket. Oh, oh, come on. Don't be obvious. Until fake videos, fake good message, though. Fake, though, it's fake. Go. Share it could save a life. Think definitely share this, though. I didn't know about that. That's smart, cause imagine how many people. Imagine how many times you've been outside and you've seen someone that's like, you didn't know that, that they were held hostage, but like they are. That's fucked up. So definitely share that message, one hundred percent. What must have been the excruciating sounds that came from that child is more than disconcerting to this court. The court finds it appropriate that each be sentenced to the State Department of Corrections for a period of life. <laughs> So we moved into this house about 10 years ago and we always saw the news articles about a huge drug bust that happened in a secret room in this house. We have never found the secret room nor have attempted to look for the secret room, but today was the day we found it. This is what happened. Yeah, I'm on this yeah there's something behind there for sure. I can't see anything. God, there is a room in there. Oh my gosh. He just fell. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Yeah. Let me try to get through. It's just it's just like a whole room back here. Why oh, they got gaming systems and shit like that? That's hard. And this arcade. I can't wait till I get a house, bro. I'm gonna deck my shit out. Watch. Eating machines. There's arcade machines, three of them. There's a closet. 30 years old, 40 years old. 
So we moved into this house about 10 years. Bro, I'm gonna have most, the most pointless shit in my house. I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm, I got my idea based off of Blueface's house off of uh, Bad Girls Club. I'm gonna have a basketball court somewhere like on the wall, like in the crib, like we, wherever there's hella space, I'm gonna hang a hoop on top, right? And Made in Philly, if you don't know who Made in Philly is, you know what I'm saying, he has one of the best house designs i ever seen. Or he does it in his apartments, but I'm going to have TVs in the most random place. So I already, like, one of my goals in life is I want, I've always wanted a TV in the bathroom. Like, like, like hung up. You feel me? Don't ask me why. Just, just know that that's always been a thing. You want me? I want it hung up in the room. So one of my things, I'm not going to only have one TV. I'm not going to only have two. I'm going to have about a minimum three. One in the living room, one in my room, and I'm gonna have one in the bathroom. And then what I seen him do is he have TVs in the hallway. Why I don't know, but like that shit hard. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, good, Nick up. Jonas. You met Nick Jonas? Yeah, cause Nick Jonas is there, and he sits down. He didn't really? want to speak to me. He had his sunglasses on. I was like, this clip might not have been caught on CCTV, but close enough. This body cam footage captures the moments as police walk into the confessed killer's house. They come looking for the man's girlfriend, who seemingly no one has heard from in any way. Well, that's the reason that we're here. I think we're here. Is that the family's calling us, saying we haven't heard from our daughter and our sister. He's not detained. A few police officers walk upstairs to search the house, and the man on the couch seems confused. Well, not that you're aware of, but like, you're not making a whole lot of sense no, to me, like, guy. Like, like, I don't know what... He says he got into a fight with his girlfriend a few weeks ago and hadn't heard from her since. I don't know, like three weeks ago. None of the officers seemed to believe him, which makes sense. Later, he would confess to the murder, but at this moment, he's making up stories on the spot. We don't see the point where the man is arrested as the footage cuts out when the other officers come back down and the one filming leaves to go make a call. But this footage was used in the trial as his response was definitely not that of a concerned boyfriend. This clip might not the baby's career might have been just saved by some random guy in Atlanta. After the baby's most recent album sold 16k in its first week, an insane decline from the 124k first week for Blame It On Baby One. It seemed like the baby's rise to rap stardom was already over. Even earlier this year, a headlining concert had to be canceled due to only 500 people showing up. Embarrassing. It even got to the point where there's claims of the baby being blackballed. Everything changed because of this man. After the baby released this EP in 2023, it didn't get much attention until this repo man started possessing cars using the baby's song Shake Some. He chained the car up to his truck and emo in their face, pulling in massive numbers, even getting to the point where he collabed with the baby, and the song took off. Oh, I didn't know they collabed. That's hard. Baby on the charts for the first time in years, and helping the baby achieve one of his most listened to songs of the last three years. The baby's bro, I didn't like Shake Some at all, bro. The song had so much potential, but I didn't like it. But we're not gonna say that the baby is not a hardworking nigga. If you don't know, the baby used to be promoting his shit on Twitter. He been rapping for a minute. You feel what I'm saying? I think he was actually at my uh he was at my high school in Jacksonville, Sandalwood. He was he performed at Sandalwood one time and shit like that. But he a hard worker, you feel me? He been making music and shit like that. Um, but I didn't like Shake Some at all. I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that song. The beat's hard though. The beat's tough. You know what I mean? That girl went in that bathroom, made no sounds. The head nurse who found the baby that and took him out the garbage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen the follow up on that video. When my, remember the, that's the video I reacted to where she had uh, took the. She said she had back pains. She was like I think nineteen years old, and she ended up uh, disposing the child in the, in the uh, bathroom, and then the nurse or the housekeeping lady found it. I still have she uh she got she got uh air dropped out somewhere, and then they have followed up and said that she's under arrest, but she hasn't been sentenced yet. At all, and the baby came out of her, and had. I, I don't even know how she functioned that way to do what she did in, in, with no emotion. I, I've never seen anything like it. And it was a, it was a pretty good sized baby. Pretty good. You know what I mean? That girl went in that bathroom, made no sounds at all, and the baby came out of her. And then think about what I just said about the safe haven law. She's, she probably had no knowledge of it. That's why you got to do your research before you have the kids, bro. Like, 100%. If she didn't want that child, she didn't have to do what she did. She killed that baby. All she had to do was have the baby and then give it up anonymously. If she if she really didn't want the kid. You feel me? If had she had this, her research, she wouldn't be in jail for murder right now. All right, so we're just driving right now, and I honked the horn at these kids, and they got super, super butthurt. We're going to do it again. 
Nice hair. Hey, pull over, Jen. You want me to pull over? Will you pay my parking pass if I pull over? Yeah. Okay, said I liked your hair. Oh, for real? Yeah. We don't do none of that. Well, then get the fuck away. What's up? You came up to pull us. Pull over. You was talking shit. What's up, dude? I'm at a red light. What's up, dude? Are you serious? Don't get scared, n***a. Why would I be scared you of you? You slapped on your YouTube channel, n***a. You'll get an uh, assault charge. Is that lean or what? Nah, it's not lean. What's up? Okay. Bro, chill the fuck <laughs> out. They really pulled a gun out, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? I love fanny packs. Don't get me wrong. I would just never think to put a fucking gun in it. I'm pulling a 6 9 dude. First cop I see. Your kid with a fanny pack pulled a gun on me. Okay, would you like to report that? Fuck yeah, I would. Did that nigga just put an ad in there? <laughs> I got eyes on him. He's straight in front of me. Go now. Oh, yeah. It was 138.55 cents. Is it? Are you serious? Yeah. It's like a thousand coupons, man. Hey, I be in line and niggas be looking at me because I got hella shit in my car. I don't give a fuck. I, I'm the type of nigga, I, while the nigga ringing it up, I look at you. I be like, all right. Say, so I want you to give me some look. And I'm going to get a nigga coupon. I don't give a fuck. Well, good for you, lady. You saved $122.10. It is good for me, Greg. It is good for me. Watch the pennies and the dollars will take care of themselves. Right. Sorry about the wait. Don't be. That was impressive. Change. New trophy. I love that shit. I'm a frugal nigga, bro. If I, if I knew how to coupon, that's why I can't wait to meet a woman that knows something, that knows shit that you can put me on, bro. Coupon it? I'm too lazy to do it, but if you know how to do that shit, put me on, bro. I would love to get the two for one bogos and shit like that. God damn, she got all that cereal? It was 138. One of the guy goes, oh yeah, you definitely should have died. I looked at him and I said, yeah, you know what? I probably should have. And one of the other officers goes, you know, we have got a question though for you um, that we've been wondering since it all happened. And I was like, okay. And they go, who's Jason? And right when they said that, I turned to my mom and I looked at her and she went like this and looked at them and she goes, why are you asking her that? And they go, well, you know, when, when she crashed that car, uh, that I was in a full blown conversation with someone named Jason and that when the cops came, they thought that Jason flew out of the car. So they were searching the surrounding area looking for him. I'm sitting there and I'm looking at my mom and she's looking at me and she, you know, starts having tears come down her eyes. And in that moment, I just said to myself, okay, so that's like, it's real. One of the guys. I'm 21. I'm a high school graduate and I work in the Marine Corps. I'm 30 years old. I have my PhD in cancer biology and I work in a biotech industry. One, two, three, four, five, six. One immigrant parents first generation going to college, humble, modest. Two, me, I don't know, PhD, <laughs> cancer biology know. scientist. I, I work in a know. biotech company. We make COVID-19 testing kits, oh, stuff like that. Cool. And then six, it has nothing to do with your background. I don't think you really have the highest EQ out of all of us. Tyler, he ranked last for me personally because the way he carries himself, he was ranking intelligence based on his point of view and not taking in other people's point of views. So number one is Raymond. Number two would be Kaylee. Number three will be Tyler. And number four would be Shada. Number five is Sean. And number six is Mike. Damn. <laughs> two unknown males walked into a convenience store. The males walked over to the ATM machine, moved stuff away the area they want to work on, and immediately began to pry it open with a crowbar and sledgehammer. During the incident, one of the suspects threatened to hurt the clerk if he intervened. Both thieves were working hand by hand applying a lot of strength into the ATM machine. One of the thieves even falls to the ground, he got up quickly to continue with his mission. Finally they opened the safe deposit box and took the money from the ATM. They both are seen leaving the location running on foot. I 
hate these, but I'm not mad at you stealing the ATM shit. But what I what I, what what niggas like this are are dumb because these are the type of niggas who will do that, get them all their money, and then deposit a random amount of money in their bank account. And then not the niggas gonna that's gonna draw a red flag. Police gonna pull up at their crib. They're like, wait a minute, nigga, where you get this 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 five thousand from? Good cup, bro. What the fuck is this? Shit, new clone, bro. Look. Today we're exploring all over the den. In 2013, this beloved math teacher Colleen Ritzer was brutally murdered by a ninth grade student. Philip Chisholm, 14 years old, arrived at school on the morning of October 22, 2013, with several bags containing a box cutter, a mask, gloves, and a change of clothing. At around 2:54 p.m., Colleen. Evil. This girl's bitch. That pissed me off. Don't kill. No don't kill no teacher. I don't care how bad your teacher is. Don't kill the teacher. This teacher is there trying to make a living, dealing with thirty of you niggas yearly. Are you gonna kill her? Cause you, bitch, you finna go to tenth grade. You never gonna see her again. You gonna kill her? Like, I'd have pissed me off if I watched that. I'm sorry. We're following us around, waiting for us to invite them somewhere. That's a typical thing here in Cuba. You gotta be careful. I guess in the whole world it's the same, no? Do not trust. They thought they were gonna get invited to some restaurant or something like that. And as gentlemen do, we walked off without even saying goodbye. <laughs> Para donde van? Para la casa. Para la casa. Está bien. Para donde nos van a llevar? Huh? ¿Qué? ¿Qué ¿Qué Hey, that bitches move, but where are you taking us? What the fuck you mean, where are we taking you? Ustedes son, son de acá, no? También? Si. Si. Bueno, yo soy de Sudáfrica y el de Estados Unidos, Corea. Here's our taxi driver. They want to come with us? Yeah, they want to come with us. They think they're going to play the player, bro. What do they think? What do they think is going on here? They must be confused or something. Let's go. Cool. I got to learn another language, bro. I feel so, it's like I want to travel, bro. I got to I gotta learn that language. I have to. Do you realize that, like, rappers will hit a chick on Instagram, fly her out, give her 15 racks, have sex with her, take her shopping, then send her on her way? Oh. You ain't know that? I mean, I guess, yeah. I don't really spend much time. That's what I can't do. I, like, I, the flying her out, I'll do that. I'll fly her out. I'll spend some time with her. I'll, I'll, we're going to link up. We'll, we'll, you ain't got to fuck, but I would love that type shit, like. You know what I'm saying? But give her 15K, that's why I draw the line. You got 15K for what? What did you do to get 15K from me? I'm in that space, but yes, what? I'm not ask surprised. Any, ask any girl Have 18 you, you, and to 38. you've never done that. I've never done that. Yeah. Never in my life, ever. But you're some of your friends have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you realize? Niggas out here giving 15K to a bitch just because she came? Yeah. Three. It made you come? Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I can't. Two, one, action. Reporting live, we catch a money bag, your dog ass in there cheating on the baby mama. Catch his ass, fella. And three. Think this is just a normal couple walking. Think again. Twitch streamer Rob CD is live streaming when he notices something really odd. What he does next, I have mad respect for. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's all right. Good to see you. It's all right. Have a good night, man. Hi. See you. Where from? Australia. Australia. Wow. Yeah. Have a good night, man. So, uh, no, fair? Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. <laughs> see you, man. Okay. Hi. See you. Have a good night. Hi. No problem. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm very afraid in Japan. Are you? Kind of my trips. Are you in danger? Yes, yeah, pretty ginger. Think Yo, respect. Respect. Body language is a big key. She did not look like she wanted to be with this nigga. This is just a normal couple walking. I feel bad for women sometimes, bro, because niggas like, you know what I'm saying? They don't be trying to like what's the word I'm looking for? They don't be trying to make it known that they're in danger because if they make it known that they're in danger, they might put themselves in more danger because they don't know what this guy's capable of. But the fact that she was able to give off her body language would show this nigga that, like, ooh, I'm not safe or I'm in danger. Like, that's, 
Another reason why you need to learn the, the uh, you know what I'm saying. Think again. That's because some people don't have body parts. Sounds like we've established. What the fuck? She means some people don't have dirty body parts. You know what's so crazy though? I just seen on Twitter the other day, Speeds, the girl that was on Speeds thing that was a nigga, but she's a girl, she's about to have a kid. Apparently there's a new way for guys to have kids by having eggs put in them or something like that. I forgot what it was called, but yeah, that's weird. There are I'm not saying it's weird, but it just, I, when I seen that, it came, it caught me off guard. I'm like, huh. Some people. KKK members reacting to life sentences. This is Jeremy Christian. In 2017, he was on a train in Portland. The young man has been waiting in line for 12 hours to buy the first iPhone. Meanwhile, the lady has $100,000 to spend on iPhones and then resell them. The only problem is that she doesn't have a spot in line. She decides to approach the young man and negotiate his spot, offering to pay him for it. The young man agrees to a total of $800 for his spot. Now, the lady proceeds with her plan to buy as many iPhones as possible with $99,200, but there's a problem. The store has a limit of one device per costumer. So she ends up buying just one single solitary iPhone. Meanwhile, the young man ends up getting an iPhone practically for free, along with some additional accessories. Something curious. The young man has... I feel like the limit thing with anything is smart, but it's fucked up. But there's a way around it. You can also bring people with you. What she should have done... Nah, there's nothing she could have really did. Had she had known, I'm assuming this is like a really old iPhone. Had she had known the value that that iPhone would cost today, brand new, what she should have done was pay everybody in the line. Oh, let me see how she could have finessed this. She could have paid everyone in line so that she can get their, but it's only one, it's only one iPhone per person. Everyone in there wants an iPhone. So it's like, what are you going to do? There should be at least a two iPhone limit. It shouldn't be just one. One iPhone per person? I mean, how many iPhones did y'all make for this store? Like, fuck, how many did, how many did y'all get? <laughs> get it, Bill? Because you're allergic to peanuts. Yeah, that was a good one. Are you all right, Bill? I just don't like you talking so much about my allergies. Because it makes me look like a geek. You know, Bill, you're not a geek. Tell that to the rest of the world. Check out Mr. Peanut. He's probably eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a liar. Hmm. Let's find out if he's lying. Whoa! No. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with niggas? You gonna kill, bro? Did you guys put something in my sandwich? No. Hey, have her, Chuck. What happens now? Should we call an ambulance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened next? Yo, they be making bullying in movies so, so fake. Nobody fucking bullies you like that. Most you'll get is a, a cool rank down on, you know what I'm saying? Niggas will, you know what I'm saying, talk shit about you in front of a, you, the baddest bitch. That's about it, but niggas ain't finna kill you. Well, maybe. I don't know. Niggas nowadays is different. When teen killers find out... We took LGB and... 
You know that lo-fi girl on YouTube? It's the one where you want to lock in and study. So you search up lo-fi and there's a girl in like a green pullover and mm -hmm. she's writing tests and there's a cat behind her, right? There's whole lore about this now. There's a theory going on how she went missing recently. Nobody in the community knows what happens to her or like where she went, right? But in the back of her window, there's like a building. There's like a blue light that flickers. Yeah, yeah, everything. yeah. And supposedly that's Morse code for something. A lot of people in the community were um, putting random numbers in the chat and then yeah. deleting it. So nobody knows what it was mm -hmm. but recently the scene on that youtube video changed to so what? it wasn't her writing with a cat behind her no more it was the blue room it was the blue room with only a door and that was it so the community's like what is yeah, this symbolized yeah, yeah, yeah. and no one knows where she went or what she's doing right now but the whole theory is like is this the end because she got kidnapped is this the end of the sleeping stream nah. i heard the continuation oh what was the i actually know what happened wait what so what happened there's a you know that shut the First of all, I love conspiracy theories. Second of all, this is a fucking cartoon edited in. How did you go missing? You mean the nigga just didn't edit her in? Come on now. Meredith, who first started training in martial arts when she was eight years old, quickly gets the man off his bike. I was able to separate him from the bike. The bike fell to the ground and I was able to get him from behind kind of went limp in my arms. I got my phone out of his hands, threw that to the ground. And that's when things get scary. With the man's butt. The audience is left stunned. I love this. My first attempt, I grabbed a ton of cash, but when it dropped it, I realized there was tape blocking the slot. This is a completely rigged claw machine, but I thought if I could just find something heavy, like Woody, to drop on the tape, it might just break and fall through. On my first attempt, I accidentally missed Woody and just grabbed more money. That wouldn't be heavy enough to make the tape break. On the next attempt, I was able to grab a hold of Woody and bring him all the way over. I was so sure that he would be heavy enough to break the tape, but when I dropped them, it didn't break. Oh, they green as fuck. My next target was this giant wooden chest. If I can grab that entire chest and drop it on the tape, it will surely break. And on this attempt, I go for it, and I somehow pull the hundred out of the chest, close the chest, and now there's no chance of me grabbing. Oh, that's gonna be hard to grab now. Now that it's closed, grabbing it again. My last resort is the baseball, and I didn't even know if the claw would be strong enough to lift it. But on my first try, I grabbed the hold of it and dropped it on the tape, and it actually fell through. But there was still a bunch of money on the tape, so I. Oh fuck that! I'm shaking the shit out of this machine now. Decided to gently. I'm leaning it. I don't give a fuck. You're not gonna jit me. Bump. My first attempt, I. And just like that it was game. The recording you just watched was that of Ekaterina Vaidenko's 29th birthday in Moscow, Russia. Ekaterina, being a popular Instagram influencer, decided that for her 29th birthday, she was going to do something that was crazy. She decided that she was going to rent a pool and invite a bunch of her friends over for a good time. They wouldn't just be swimming in regular water though, they decided that they wanted to add dry ice to this water. Dry ice has a really cool effect where it creates a gas when it interacts with water. Thinking that this would look really cool in their video, they decided to dump an entire chest full of dry ice into their pool. There was only one problem. Dry ice, when it interacts with water, creates carbon dioxide. And when you've dumped this much dry ice into a small space, there's gonna be a lot of carbon dioxide and this can cause suffocation. Due to this negligence, three people at this birthday party ended up passing away. On this list was also Ekaterina's husband. Golly, I don't know. Maybe maybe they should have did some research on it. I, me personally, I'm not buying dry ice. But if I did, I'd be like, you know what? Can I can I die from this? It is really scary. It is that one right there. Uh, this is not a movie set, right? So that black car rams that car, right, and perfectly. And then this car hits another car, speeds away. Jeffrey Clark thought someone was banging on his garage door. Do y'all have complaint forms that you can complain on an officer? Which one? Do I need to tell you which one? Yes. So you guys don't have complaint forms? No. I need your name, address, and phone number. Is this the form? So you need my information in order to follow follow yes. complaint. Yes. That is our policy. Oh hell no! See, that's why I don't like I don't like public servants who have an attitude. Because a lot of public servants, 
they know that they don't need you. You need them. So they're like they'll be assholes. But like, what what is so hard with being a polite, nice person? It's not hard. Your day will go so much smoother. Okay, can you tone it down just a little bit? Because you're yelling at me, and, but I'm not yelling at you. I'm just asking for information on how to file a complaint. Whatever. So, in order to file a complaint, you need my information first. Yeah, come on. What are you wanting to file a complaint for? I want to complain about that lady right now. Oh. I just want to address the issue that you witnessed in there. You may contact my chief deputy or my sheriff. All right, do you have a business card for them? Nope, they'll be here Monday. You guys don't have business cards? No. You serious right now? Yes. Do you know what her name is? Her name is Liz. Liz? Yes. Okay, I'll be filing a complaint about her. That's, that was uncalled for, unprofessional, and there's no okay. room for that. But Can you go ahead and get that to your sheriff deputy or your sheriff when they come in Monday? You guys made this a story. Congratulations. Do y'all have complaint? All she had to do was get a nigga the form that's in the back, you know what I'm saying, or on the file document, print it out for the nigga. Now you had, now your ass might lose your job because you want to be a dickhead. Then that's the ass strike. In November, Pennsylvanians elected for the first time in over a decade majority of Democrats to this state house today. Democrats just increased the minimum wage. That's it. That's the video. Put the weapons down. We'll show you some badges. Badges. Oh, is that part two? I don't know who needs to hear this, but. Did you guys put something in my sandwich? No. Hey, Habertuck, what happens now? Should we call an ambulance? <laughs> <laughs> call an ambulance! What's <laughs> up <Stop> for me? <laughs> You're not faking, are you? I didn't think you were really allergic. You just always say stupid stuff like that. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you in the hospital. I'm just goofing on you. You know, it's, it's not like you guys have ever been nice to me. I remember, like, like in the fourth grade, I used to think you guys were, like, really cool. There's a word for what he just did right there. What is it gaslighting? I don't, I'm, I'm so confused with what gaslighting means. But like, did this motherfucker just make it by him? You niggas weren't really that nice to me. So that's why I put some nuts in your sandwich, nigga. <laughs> Die slow, nigga. I don't know who needs to hear this. What? Whoever kids this is, you are raising some very... Ham Newell generated five... How you doing? Good. Hello. Yeah. And the young woman that you came in with, I need your ID. Who? The woman that you came in with. Came with two women. Okay, give their ID. Well, one just left in that car. The one on the bike with you? I, I don't know who she is. I rode with her here. I, I can't tell her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the law. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I, I know that for a fact. Due to the TIP certification law or whatever, certificate, whatever it's called. If you come with somebody... They call it third party solicitation or whatever, third party something. You know what I'm saying? If you come with somebody in the in, in the facility to buy something, and you you can't be the only one to show the ID, they have to show that as well because you can also give them the the liquor. You're buying them the liquor, and if it's on camera and you they get caught for some reason drinking and they get into an accident, they go they gonna check the last purchase that they had, which was liquor, and they gonna go to the the gas station and now you liable. So it's like you know you can't. I understand that. It's fucked up. You should have just never came with them niggas. You should have just left them at the crib. I'd like my ID back. God, that's ridiculous. But So if I come back in, I can buy it. Well, no, because now it just looks like it's a third party seller. So I, I can't sell it unless I know both of you or 21. Now it just looks like it's a lot. So I'll be back in 15 minutes. <laughs> I'll be back in four hours. No? Eight hours. Tomorrow. I can't have it tomorrow? Not if I'm here. So if you're not here, I can't. Possibly. See you guys work afternoon. Now you just being a dick. I actually want to see the comments on that because that's actually a, a thing. These people should not be in custody. It's the fucking law. It's literally, to be a bartender, you have to... Follow these instructions.
I think it's stupid. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be the nigga that be like, no, nah, that's dumb. That's not. That's the law. Like you should. It's literally the law, though. Like you know what I'm saying. If you do, I'm telling you, bro. Just like how if you were to come in that bitch, get drunk and go and get in an accident, I'm gonna be liable. I'm gonna go to jail. If 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 I sell you liquor and I seen you come in that bitch with someone that looked under 21, and then I I be them, I I'm liable. I can go to jail. You see what I'm saying? Is it stupid? Yes, because it, 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 you know what I'm saying. Is it variables to it? Yes, but it's like it's the law, bro. Sorry. This my, my advice just don't come in with people if you buying liquor. Go dolo, solo mission, bro. I know y'all saw that video of Antonio Brown greeting the fans of that. That shit just so. You feel that in your soul. Hold up. One more time. One more time. That shit is so beautiful. This is Portland, Oregon, the city where every. Hey, can somebody tell me what the f is going on here? Love is not calling your mother bad names like that. Love is not spitting on your brother. Why do you misbehave like this? My dad, um, he lets me listen to bad word music. What's the name of the song? Do you know the name of the song? Tom McDonald and that's all. What is the name of it? Tom McDonald. What's it, what is the name? Tom McDonald. And he, and he says bad things? Okay, so this kid is claiming that my music is influencing his bad behavior. We just went and got him reinstated yesterday. Without tripping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My license is not suspended. Let me see those keys for you real quick. I've never gave the police my keys ever. Okay. In my life. I, I, I appreciate it. Keys. Huh? You even tow my car? Uh, we'll talk about that. We're going to finish it. Says the Gary Fernandez driver's license status is suspended. What can I drive for him? And that's current through today? Can I just drive for him? Let me see your uh, picture of your license. As far as this computer shows me, yes, sir, it is. Copy that. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, see if we can send the record this way. And also, can you run a second name for me? Yes, sir. If you give me five bucks, you can have whatever's under his cowboy hat. There's probably nothing under it. If you give me five bucks, you can have whatever's under his cowboy hat. You're kidding. Five bucks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I'm kind of afraid. No way. <laughs> hey, you give me five bucks, I'll give you whatever's under his cowboy hat. If you give me five bucks, I'll give you whatever's under his cowboy hat. I'll tell you what, I just ran out of gas. I'm kind of flat broke. You got five bucks? I don't think so. Maybe. Oh, you got a five? Yeah, I'll do it. You're a man of taking chances? Yeah. All right, what's your name, sir? Craig. Jimmy, great mm -hmm. to meet you. There you go. I don't have a cat here. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Wait, you sure? Well, okay. I'll check it out. <laughs> Congratulations. You just won $500. Are you kidding me? No. Yeah. Try <laughs> Ryan. I just got out of cancer surgery. God, you don't know how much this will help. Thank you. Just say my back. Thanks. Yeah. So live your life. Hey, hey, hey. If you give me five bucks, you can have whatever. Now that's a short. What do we got for the youngest here? I love you, pancakes. Of course, they're pampered. For the oldest, I love you, pancakes. Of course, they're spoiled. This only leaves the middle child. What are they finally gonna get pampered as well? Finally, get a little respect in the world, or we gonna get shit on like a middle child. I just don't understand how you find somebody guilty of doing something to a 15 day old baby because there was no evidence whatsoever that proved anything about me putting my hands on my kids. I've never done it, I never would. I don't believe in it. I was beat as a child and I don't agree with it at all. And I would never do it. I would never do this. That's all I gotta say, I would never do it on this. Well, I can make a lot of comments on what you said. I can make a lot of comments on the trial, but I know that was just be arguing with you or talking with you. I'll ask you one simple question. You claim you're innocent, so you tell me what sentence the man or woman that you claim did this should receive. If you ever find out who did them, they deserve to be under the jail. Okay. So they ought to get the maximum sentence. Most definitely. Okay. 
on the crime of malice murder, I sentence you to life in confinement without parole. Or concerning the death of another, I sentence you to 10 years in confinement, consecutive or after. Count one. You understand each of your sentences? Yes, sir. I just don't understand how you find somebody guilty of... I'm not your daddy. <laughs> I know you're not my dad. Right. That's one thing you're not. That's right. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I'm not I'm not as confused as your parents are. My parents aren't confused. Yeah, they're confused. You That's why you're here. Don't talk about my family. I'll, I'll talk about whoever I want to. Don't get the away from me. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something you're not gonna do. The you're, one thing you're not gonna do is you're gonna dear control. Nanny. When you're out of control. That's a good dad. Somebody's got to That's a good dad, you feel me? You can't be letting these kids run you over. That's why I look at I, I I couldn't have I, dealing with a teenager right now, maybe it, it comes with maturity, cause like, bro. You see how he stood ten toes on what he meant? And that's not even a dad. Wait, was that? Hey, bro, that, was, that wasn't even a dad. Damn. I'm bro. not your daddy. I know you're not my dad. Right. That's one thing I you're not. Skip forward. That's right. Oh, yeah. And We're going to skip it. Hey, for $100, would you let me give you any haircut I want? I'm out. Hey, for $200, would you let me give you any haircut I want? I'm a hairstylist. For $300, can I give you any haircut I want? Nah. For $500, can I give you any haircut I want? Yes. So there's one more catch. You have to put this blindfold on, and you won't know what haircut you got until the very end. Okay. Go. We're going. We're going. Oh. 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 No. No oh. oh no. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? This is your last chance to back out. I sure. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, is this a bad joke? Do you guys think he's gonna regret this? Nah. <laughs> Alright, take your blindfold off and take a look. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I look like old man. <laughs> One more thing, just read this. Alright, deals with Almost everyone on TikTok, especially the creepy side of TikTok, has heard this song play. But not many people know the sad and disturbing story behind this song and its creator. Tiptoe Through the Tulips was released in 1968 by American musician Tiny Tim. When the song was first released, it didn't have the same creepy connotations surrounding it that it does now. This would be changed during the last live performance of the song. On September 28, 1996, he suffered a miniature heart attack while performing at a music festival. After this incident, his doctors would tell him that he was no longer healthy enough to perform on stage. He ignored the advice of doctors and scheduled another event at a women's club in Minnesota the very next month. Right before the performance, he would tell his wife that he wasn't feeling well. Despite this, he went on stage. While performing the last number of the evening, he suffered a major heart attack and died on stage in front of the crowd. The song he was performing was Tiptoe Through the Tulips. Almost everyone on TikTok, especially the creepy side of it, I just wanted to ask him to spare a dollar. I repeated that, man. You may move along. I didn't mean to offend you, brother. Well, I just... then move along. I don't want to. Do I need to get one of these cops over there to come and get you away from me? I didn't know I was doing anything illegal. How hey. many times do I have to say? 50 cents. No! No, I don't! Bro, why are you screaming at me? I said I do not! See, and that's how you get niggas to keep playing with you. Because now that you're doing that shit, you're doing the most, I'm going to do the most. You feel me? All you had to say was just, no, I'm sorry, I don't want to do anything. You yelling at me? All right, baby, we can keep this shit going. I don't give a fuck. I'm bored. I ain't got shit to do. I have money to give you! Please. I don't have any money. Excuse me, miss. Do you mind bringing a dollar? Honey, I, I don't have much, but let me see what I can do. You. Thank you so much. You know, you remind me of my grandson. You should come to church with me sometime. You really? Know, a lot of people are very helpful there. I actually want to give you something. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Honey, no, I can't take this from you. I can't. It also comes with this. Oh Lord, no. No. And then Lord, uh, also Lord, this. No. Oh my <laughs> Jesus. And then this. That's $500 right there, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I can really use this. I really could. But you can also probably use this. This is another $500 for you. <laughs> I wanted to ask him to spare a dollar. Like, see, that's why in life you don't be evil and nasty. Cause you gonna get, you ain't gonna get shit. How you doing, man? What are you doing? I just got out of prison, man. You just got out of prison. Quantavius Greer. Right, that's one more, one more, one more, one more. We gonna find another one. We done. My Uber didn't show up. I was wondering if you could give me a quick lift to McDonald's. I look right over here. Well, it's up to you. What do you think? Yeah, I can do that. All right. Are you having a good day? I'm Jimmy. Great to meet you, sir. 
Yeah. What's your dream job? Retirement. How many years do you think away you are from that? Probably never. Some days I'm ready to give up, but at the same time I wake up and keep going the next day. So what do you do? Just one happy meal? Happy meal, four piece chicken McNugget. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much for taking me. Guess what, James? I was actually seeing the first person kind enough to take me to the drive-thru, and I've got $500 for you. No. Yes. This no. is for you, James. Yes, I go around the country doing this. No, I thank you. You're amazing, James. Thank you. Why, why did you take me here? You do what you can when you can. Test the faith. 100%. My Uber. 100%. I like that guy. Because, you know, he, he might not have really wanted to take you there, but he was like, you know what, bro? Life is hard for niggas. If this makes him happy, I hope it helps. And look, he got five hundred dollars out for it. He wouldn't even care if he didn't get the five hundred. He would went back to his work day. But you see what I'm saying? Like, I love shit like that. Smash the like button. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Uh, we just hit 15k. I want to say thank you guys so much. Subscribe to my other channel as well, Boston he Plays with a Z. Uh, it should be in the description as well. Um, we are about to hit, I think, 60k on there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy once again. Y'all smash the like button. Um, and yeah, we out. I, I know I'm always to my time. I, I know I ain't crossing the line. I, I know it's push gonna shove when shit hit the fan. You gon' stand on the dime. I, I don't smash my own post. And I then I'm always gonna ghost. Go. If I'm sick and you fake like so, I'm hot like fire. Come close my rose. I know you a bitch. I know you a op. I know you.